boys and girls, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where today we are trying to tap into this oil reservoir. And to get oil, we need water. We have water over here, and then we need to get the uh, oil to somewhere where we can process it. And as we have this geyser here, um, I think one way is to go over on top. Then we have a volcano here in the way, or we go um, below it. And I think below is the right thing to do, because we also need to get wood from here over there. So, let's prepare this first. out of sandstone use granite we can go up here um, and maybe have that somewhere there around That leaves this chamber here intact. should get there eventually. We also might figure out uh, a way to replenish water in here because the water we get from up here uh, that's that's not enough. So what I was thinking we should have a shot of So we do not need a duplicate to shut it off. And then out here, of course, we have the isolated pipe again. Reservoir. Where can I find it? In here. Have I researched it? No, I have not. That would probably also be a good thing.
and then we also need a place for the uh, oil refinement. Reservoir um, going down there, and we need a bit of, of power over on this side. set up uh, going on this side as well. this part of because from up here we are coming with uh, atmospheres but from down here we don't and we want to avoid uh, duplicates coming from one door out and going in another and messes up our whole system. So if we have our um, our um, oil refinement somewhere here, that means we probably need a bit of uh, uh, power this direction. Um, right. And now we have uh, the oil well which is in here and that requires water and So, what we will have here eventually is probably something like this. We might need a ladder. That, of course, needs connecting, and we want to connect this. In here, we could 
then have our uh, refinement plus petroleum storage and uh, the Probably also need a transformer. Let's wait on that for now. because line breakage and so because it's just too damn cold around here you have something in here we'll take the dirt they are not growing because irrigation so we are getting a bit low on uh, on food. So I am thinking of replacing these ones. Uh, the other farm cars. because they need different uh, different water so we'll supply those still manually that then let's plant these ones There until we have replaced all of them. Over here on this side, I think uh, I will let the duplicates do a bit more work because we uh, we tell them uh, what else to do. Times are exciting because this dormant gas geyser will become active shortly and I put in a wall here with a high pressure vent on this side because if we uh, manage to uh, um, to uh, refine the oil here we will have natural gas uh, uh, spill over that we can pump in here so speaking of this, maybe uh, let's put two of those in here. Um, then we will probably get some kind of fiber going up. And then have something like that where we can collect the gas and and 
this one that will become active shortly again and then we will finally see if the setup up here is actually working uh, this gold volcano as you can see not working that well anymore because the the liquid gold is just not cooled down enough but every once in a while it spills over to down here and gets solidified there um, however this one will get dormant pretty soon and maybe we do have a few more uh, metal volcanoes over there so we can deal with that we also have hooked up a water supply down here and over on this side everything is looking up so um, we need Input. That's the output. How do we do that? Yes, I think like this. Because here we also have this. Yes, we have hydrogen at minus degrees going in here, at least for now we do not yet have enough hydrogen to constantly uh, uh, power this one. But in the period where this one has been dormant, I think we burned about uh, 35 tons of coal. So I think it's it's really at the time to to have to have a different set. That. Um, actually, with the with the petroleum output, we can take a normal pipe and put that in here for the the one generator that we have for now uh, later we probably will think of um, how we want to deal with it that in a better way and up here i think pump filter That goes to here. Um, and then, then we have another high pressure on here. Yes, um, we need a bit more power, so I am thinking we do a large transformer here. Connect that like this, and then. And we 
this way. Then do it like that. And then, as a last step, we can uh, uh, deal with things on that side. Uh, and laying the pipes in, going there. for the duplicates to complete. Now things finally come together, we have only this piece of uh, work that needs to be done. Up here I placed a second hydro uh, generator, also a few batteries and hooked up the uh, automation so that we are not wasting our hydrogen. And then, uh, seeing that over on this side, uh, we're spilling over with the natural gas, since we cannot uh, use the gas range, I plan out a pipe over here to put everything in the storage tanks, which are full. So, currently this means we are uh, producing so much energy that uh, we have too much um, uh, of the of the raw resources, and I also saw somewhere over on this side. Uh, yep, here we also have something. Another hide chip went so. That's good to know. I think uh, this setup here works quite nicely. So let's check the, the temperature. You're still in the negative. Petroleum is at 20 degrees. The hydrogen is at around 30 degrees. Uh, so that's definitely heating up because we have here five kilograms per tile so that's that's quite dense uh, because we are not using that much hi much hydrogen but i think once we get this set up rolling i also place here a polymer press um, so we can get a bit more uh, plastic. Uh, no need relying on our Draco farm. So I think we have exciting times ahead. Uh, also, the calories are going up again. Uh, so we can think about projects that require a bit more energy next time but what those will be yeah you will have to find out yourself so see you then goodbye